All right, Mark Rogers, TV, back with you. Always talking college football 24-7, 365 for the serious fan, where the serious fans come to play. All right, the audio versions of our conversations with some of the best bloggers and broadcasters in college football. You can catch those on Stitcher, iTunes, and Podbean. And then, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We've ranked all the schedules, 68 all the way up to number one. Now let's tell you who's going to win each and every game. So in the past... I've just told you that Clemson's going to be 11-1 and 7-1 and in the ACC and predicted the standings and the college football playoff participants. Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, Washington. We went 4-4 four for four last year. We'll try to do the same a little bit later before the 2017 season kicks off. But right now we're giving you the results of the games. So what the percentage is here is the likelihood of... This particular team, being Florida State, is going to win each game. That doesn't mean that they're going to win the game, i.e. Pitt-Clemson, classic example from the ACC last year, where Clemson had about an 85% probability of winning that game against Pitt. And if those two, those two teams could have played 100 times, Clemson would have won the game 85 times, let's say. But they lost it on that particular Saturday. So I am predicting upsets here. We are not going with the chalk because that's not what's going to play out this season. Am I going to look bad at times? Yeah. But uh, we put it on the line right here on Mark Rogers TV. Florida State, Alabama, what a game this is going to be in Atlanta. The Crimson Tide with a 55% chance of winning based on my probability index. Florida State pulls off a slight upset over the Tide. I love Florida State's defense. I believe they are going to have... Uh, a description, a title for this defense that Alabama's had in recent years, almost every year, and that is as best defense in the country. Clemson's close, Ohio State's close, Florida State, though, with the best defense in the country, and with the quarterback play of DeAndre Francois, running and passing against the tie defense. The only issue and real concern, major concern I have with this game is Florida State's offensive line. It needs to be much improved from what we saw last season. Florida State defeats the Tide to get off to the 1-0 start. Louisiana Monroe, a win. Miami at home. That's what the asterisk means. Miami at home. The last two years, the Canes had it in the bag. They should have won the game. Florida State pulled it out. This time, the Knolls are just much better. Even though the Canes have a better team this year, minus... What do we anticipate the quarterback play to be in developing Nikosi Perry, most likely the starter, in the early portion of the season? Florida State wins a good game over Miami, and they march on to 3-0. NC State going to be a challenge, but that game's in Tallahassee. You've got Wake and Duke. Those are easy wins despite being on the road. Louisville comes back for that return trip. Of course, Lamar Jackson and especially the Cardinals defense just completely annihilated Florida State in Louisville last year. Knowles get the payback this year with an 80% probability of winning that game. Got the BC win on the road, followed by Syracuse at home. Then the huge one at Clemson. So because the game's on the road, I give it a 50-50 shot here. Florida State does pull it out. To remain undefeated, Delaware State, the warm-up for the finale against arch-rival Florida. The Knolls have dominated this series in recent years. Florida will not be as good as Florida State, but they do not play 100 times. So it's not a 75-25 series. It's a one-time shot for the Gators at home in Gainesville. Florida pulls off the upset against Florida State, denies the Knolls of an undefeated season, and sends them to the ACC championship game with an 11-1 record, although it is perfect in what many consider to be the best conference in college football. We will have more on that later as I rank the conferences going into 2017. And keep in mind that I will do a weekly update, updating my ratings of the conferences. But as it stands, Florida State undefeated in the ACC, 11-1 with the one loss to Florida. Yes, it's improbable. But I pick the Gators. Let's also keep in mind that the odds are going to change throughout the season and the circumstances that these teams play under. Injuries, unexpected uprisings, uh, decline from certain players and certain teams. So that doesn't necessarily mean 
that once we get to this date in uh, late November, Thanksgiving weekend, Florida, Florida State, that I'm not going to at that point, this is three months from now, not going to say Florida State wins this game over Florida. They're just the best team in the country, and let's say Florida at this point is 7-3, and 7-4, and four, that I don't say that Florida State's going to win this game. But for right now, to start the season, this is how I see it playing out for the Knowles. Yeah, I'm taking some chances here. Florida State finishes 11-1, 8-0 in the ACC. Now, your comments on Mark Rogers TV.